welcome back to my channel back with another uber eats video i know it looks a little different from the last time you guys saw me but i'm out of the hospital clearly i'm back to work and i'm back to this little side hustle as usual so today is may 29th it's a saturday there's a very small quest going on today nothing too major 49 dollars for 14 trips which is pretty much nothing really but but we're going to work tonight this night shift dinner shift whatever you want to call it it is 4 30 right now and i went online probably like five minutes ago and i came over here to marlo furniture which is right there is the building where marlo furniture is at work somebody showed me the earnings of somebody else and this person literally made like two thousand something dollars on uber eats one week and then like four thousand something dollars on doordash one week and i was just like what i mean he does it full time and he did it like i think he worked like 70 something hours on one of them i don't know but he made a ton of money and i just want to talk to this individual and be like what am i doing wrong am i just declining too many orders or what if i can make even a thousand dollars on the side a week i would be happy as hell but that would mean I would have to work a lot. Like every time I get off work, go and get online. I will be back once I get my first order. Okay, so literally a minute later, I got an order from Pike Kitchen. It is going to Silver Spring, which I didn't prefer. We're gonna get this night started. Oh, that's another thing that I wanted to tell you guys. If, for those who don't know, I was supervising on Sundays for a while and I decided to step down from that position. My main reason from stepping down is just like, I don't wanna be at work all day on Sundays and be wasting my Sunday. And I just don't wanna do that anymore. Amongst other things, I'll probably get into that another time, but that's the main reason. I'm really trying to step my game up on this side hustle. I really feel like I can make what I make at work like I could double my income I feel like in a month make the same as what I make at work so what I make at work plus this it will be lit and I can get a lot of things done so that is the goal I'm writing all my stuff down for the month of June so I can have it all written down so I know like okay this is how much you need to make per week this is how much you need to be taken out this is how much you need for gas like everything so that's what we're working on for the month of june getting our stuff right and getting back to this hustle hopefully it'll be a good night maybe people want to stay in the only thing is in my county and the surrounding counties i think that's opened up to 100 percent and also a lot of places i don't think you have to wear masks anymore so i'm not too sure on that but hopefully people are still ordering like they usually do so let's go get this food all right, you guys, it's a whole hour later, pretty much, back in Rockville. I was about to come back on camera and be like, what the heck is going on? It's Uber Eats dead. And I got two more orders, 22 buckaroos, Pike Kitchen, and Lebanese Tavern. I just don't want to be working when it's slow. Like, you would think on the weekend it would be busier with, like, better orders, especially because it's raining. I feel like I haven't done a Q&A in a while, so if you guys have any questions about anything except, <laughs> except you know who, the PO, no, not the parole officer, anything besides my job, I will answer, okay? I am avoiding all questions related to them. If you guys are wondering why I'm not answering anything, I already said it in a previous video, but I know everybody don't see every video, so I'm saying it again. I'm not answering any questions related to the post office. And that's that on it. Let's get these orders picked up. All right, you guys, so I end up going to the second place first to pick up Pike Kitchen, and then the first, <laughs> so, I got to the first and when I tell you Lebanese Tavern, this lady ordered so much food. It's three bags and one big tray of food. And I just struggled <laughs> getting that. But yeah, let me go drop these all. Honestly, that should be more than, they should tip more on that one because that's a lot of food. It should be like a $20 tip on that one. You feel me? 
It was only $22 order to start off with, so we'll see if they end up tipping more. All right, you guys, so I got two more orders. It's gonna take 35 minutes, 12 bucks. It's still really slow. It's already 6.30, and I've only made like $30. So that's like two hours. So that's like $15 an hour as of right now. One thing about me is I just don't like wasting my time. Like if I'm gonna be out here, spend my time and use my gas, then I need to be making some money. I wanna be making more than I make at work per hour. And 15 ain't it, so <laughs> let's go get this food. But that last food that I dropped off, it wasn't as bad like taking it to the door, but they still had a lot of food, so I don't know y'all. Let's go get this food. We back at Jumbo Cafe. I think I showed y'all this last time that I worked. I was wondering how Uber Eats has really been for the last little bit since stuff is starting to open back up. How are y'all having a time with it? Like, is it busy? Like, I'm, I told y'all earlier about the guy's pay stub. I don't know how recent that was. Let's get this food. All right, you guys, I got one, another order. One order, 12 bucks from Taylor Gourmet. So I'm headed there now. I need a new side hustle. I need something that's more like guaranteed, like something that's flexible, but just more guaranteed that you're gonna make some good money. Y'all give me some suggestions down below in the comments, cause honestly, I don't even know at this point. Okay, you guys, so I just went to go pick up that order and guess what? She's like, two people already came here to pick up that same order. Girl. I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh my God, I got a $20 tip. See, I told you them people with all that damn food was gonna give me $20. I spoke it into existence. Oh, that's cute of them, that's so nice. Okay, so, so far we are at $47. How long have we been online? Three hours, $14 an hour. Yuck. Okay, so I canceled that trip. I'm gonna end this video here. I'll put the total up here. It's probably a little bit more than what I just said because of the tips. So that's gonna be the total for three hours and about 20 minutes or something like that. Not what I'm used to. <laughs> the pandemic, I feel like just, it was it was great. And I think it's starting to slow down now because people wanna get out the house. They wanna go out to eat. They wanna be out and about, you know, so it's understandable, but for me to not have a side hustle that at least makes me $20 per hour, this ain't cutting it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. There's a police officer behind me. Don't make any sudden movements. <laughs> Can't Like, are you gonna go or are you not gonna go? Damn. I turned up the wrong one. Following this dude. You've been trying to get over for two years. Bitch. Go, you dumb. How do you, like, I just don't understand people's logic when they be driving. It's just like. Go, bitch. you're in the middle of the street. Dummy. Yo, this, all this is getting cut out.